So as far as ingredients are concerned, what you're going to need is uh, at least three and a half cups of flour. I just use all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour. You can use wheat flour. I have all of that stuff too. Um, but literally, general basic bleached, pre-sliced, pre or sorry, pre-sifted uh, flour will work out fine. You're going to need a little bit of salt. Um, of course, water. I'm just demonstrating here with the bottle. And you're going to need some uh, yeast. Now, depending on the type of yeast that you have, if you get the instant yeast, you won't need sugar. Um, but if you get the uh, active yeast, uh, you will need sugar, a small amount of sugar, just to activate it. And then for the equipment, what you need there is you're going to need um, a bowl that's large enough uh, for the, the wad of dough that you're going to have. So here's a bowl here. I bought it at the dollar store. You get two of them for a dollar or something like that. I, I, I recommend using these clips um, because I don't have a Dutch oven or a pan that I could throw in the oven with a lid on it. And then I just double up on two uh, pans here. And you'll see it in my process. But essentially, you dump the dough inside the bottom of here. It's going to be like about halfway, a little bit less than halfway, maybe a quarter inch short of halfway. Then you um, put the lid on top of it, and then you lock it down, clips, and once you lock it down with the clips, and you see these are metal clips, so they're really not going to melt or do anything, uh, it's going to create a, its own Dutch oven, essentially sealing in the heat from the bread and cooking the bread within. Um, so it's actually pretty easy to do.